Welcome to the very first video of Alan Wake 2. Man, a game that is long waited for, but finally it arrived. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this series. If you do, smash up the like, subscribe if you're new. Anyway, let's play. Up into a brand new game. We'll play normal difficulty. Don't want to cry too much, right? Don't want the game to be too difficult. Anyway, let's play. Back to the beginning. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. But trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. Monsters wear many faces. dude. Why are we seeing the saggy, hairy person? Who is this guy? And where's your panties? Where'd he go? Better help me. I need panties. Oh man, this place is getting dark. Who's so eager to see me pee pee? Playing free willy right now. This is not Alan Week 2. <laughs> what the frick? What are we witnessing, dude? It's the guy from the first game again. The axe dude. It could be. Oh, definitely sounds like him. Oh no. 
They're spawning everywhere. Is one of the back also? I'm dead. No, I have big BP. What a great intro, bro. So far. Hey, kiddo. How are you? I'm good, Mom. How are you? This trip might take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom. It's not your fault people get all murdery. What happened? Just work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers. I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan? I will. Bye, kiddo. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. Drinking coffee at the same time. It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Hmm. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. Here we are. Cauldron Lake. Time to get to work. A deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car, so where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear? I'll check out that map. Invitation? Return one? Instead of being called chapter one, it's called return one? Uh, worth memorizing before we get swallowed up by the trees. You're the one who wanted to Whoa, okay, this is pretty awesome. I wonder if the map's gonna update, like, uh, you know, like Silent Hill, old ones. Quit your belly aching, Thorn. I'm up here now. Hey, over here. This is like the guy that got murder murdered, I think. 
Sheriff Breaker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson? Saga Anderson. I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that, uh... Those damn feds gonna show up, Mulligan! Federal agents right here, Thornton. My partner, Thornton, <laughs> down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Right here? What do you mean? Are they with you? Oh, shit! They didn't hear me, did they? <laughs> Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out-of-towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at oh, night. I mentioned the city folk. It's pretty suspicious. Not that we have anything against city folk, cried Thornton. But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took them back to town a while ago. What can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell them about the heart. I was getting to that, Thornton. <clears throat> well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be, well, you know, inside. This guy should be a rocket scientist. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure, that's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store, you can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Hey, Mulligan, tell them I'm here, Winky. I'll show them around. They got it, Thornton. So this is not the guy of the murder. They're just both the same size, I would say. Before we get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. So case board. Should we be playing this game with the controller? The mind place. My version of the mind palace technique. To sift through clues and work the case. Building the mind place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. The facts are on the board. Everything we know about the previous murders. Worth taking another look. Case board is a mental technique that allows Saga to analyze clues and progress the investigation. You can now use arrows to move around. You can now zoom in and out also. So we have the murder method here. Uh, you can use uh, this to have a cursor. Free to navigate to the case board to leave the progress. Press escape. Okay, so we have a few things here. Victims. All victims reported missing in 2010. No other communica communications, I guess. Um, commonalities. Murder method. Slight difference in murders. Bloating only. Uh, commonality in bodies, but no cases, or no cause of death, chest trauma, exposure to water, post-mortem, goodness dude, killer profile, okay. I see you're already hard at work, Anderson, close to cracking it. We're just getting started. Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. Be mindful of nearby threats because the game doesn't pause. Nature gives me a headache. There's too much sky. Just had to change a little bit of graphics there. Hey, Casey. Uh, you putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a... Better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? 
You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm-hmm. Real funny, Anderson. I had to switch on V-Sync and stuff like that because... The game looks fine for you guys, but it looks weird for me. You okay to jump down? I'm not that old. Mirror Peak. The mighty mountain uh, in the distance is no other than Mirror Peak. Dude, that's a pretty nice mountain down there. The iconic landmark overlooking Cauldron Lake. From the right angle, its beauty will be reflected on the calm surface of the lake. Mirrored in the... Uh, all the inverted glory. Goodness. I don't know where the zoom is going to... It's so weird. Pretty nice features in the game. So far the game looks absolutely phenomenal. I also switched off motion blur. Not a bad place to get murdered. Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing. Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. If they did, next coffee's on me. Well, we can actually catch a jog as well. At the murder site. I did not want to swap. No. Oh, hey! Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service. Ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. So, the FBI, huh? That's so cool. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob. You forgot the UFO cover-ups. What? Those are real? You guys hiring? Gordon, he's joking. Let's just see this body, shall we? Now, this is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. Now, he didn't touch nothing. You know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, Deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. You unlocked your first key image. You can now place in the case board inside your mind. C allows Saga to see activity clue or active clues. The key image can be selected uh, with a with left click and place on the case board. To cauldron like a mirror scene. The murder scene should be on the left. Because that is also a murder scene, isn't it? Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? Where is the key image? in the beginning of the line to investigate. Okay. 
Uh, when the key image is placed, it will be prompt a new question. Objectives are viewable in case of a board in your goals. Press control. Investigate the crime scene. Um, so I can't left click just yet though. We have a map as well. You can get like clues from the body to progress your investigation. Losing on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. The killer left the heart right next to the body. Inside stab wound, chest cut open, heart removed. Newly discovered clues can be placed. Consistent with previous murders. It's pretty much all, dude. Think, Saga. We what? What? It was different than the one I did. Okay, so you have to do it on the yellow paper. Chest, strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. The clue have resolved an open question and a lock uh, deduction. As you advance in, in the investigation, new questions will be unlocked, uh, updating your goals. So we have something that's now called the victim and then the killer or killers. And you can check and update goals by pressing control. I learn about the victim and learn about the killer. Okay, so we're done here. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Large amount of blood on the table. The victim died here. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. Was it was... for a camera? Yeah, why was there a tripod here in the first place? Someone was drinking beer. They spent time here. Waiting. Indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. Or oh, later. Is there more? Are we not? Because I don't think there is. Any idea who the victim is? No, oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale? Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters.
Okay, no one heard of uh, this guy in 13 years. Why surface now? Where has he been? Uh, Thornton victim is uh, Robert Nightingale. So you knew our victim? Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head, chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. Clearly. Nightingale went missing 13 years ago, 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. I think that's everything. For now, at least. Mm-hmm. Anything clicking yet? Not sure. Need to think about it. It's okay, Sporn. Casey Nightingale went off deep end of the F when I when FBI fired fired him. Robert Nightingale, ex FBI, came to Bright Falls thirteen years ago. They planned for the murder to happen here, passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Why here? Why now? Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. Using your intuition, Saga can discover new clues by profiling people of interest. Missing person, a ritual murder. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Click the switch, it goes click. Lights are off. At somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. A Nightingale, a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. What? Profiling someone? You're still busy profiling? I think we did this already. Ah, here we go. Came from the lake, but why now, after 13 years? I don't know. The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey! Let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Well, okay. Well, I'll just, uh, I'll just wait here. Sure. This one of your hunches, Anderson? Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. 
from a lake. Probably looking for shelter, safety. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night, possibly nude. The killers knew he was here, ambushed him, dragged him to the campgrounds, strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. That seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? Haven't figured that part out yet. Mm-hmm. Lots of questions. Lots of answers for us to find. I didn't know trees got that big. Gives me the creeps. You need to get out more. It is kind of creepy, though. And it's huge. There's a piece of paper on the ground. Whoa, rocket scientist. Tracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? They come out from under the boulder. It makes no sense. A page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm-hmm. Like a manuscript. Page of a story. Hmm. Killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the, the words. words. These, These words, words felt like a message. Felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How, How could they, they not accept? accept even, even if they, they knew it would end up hurting them. them. Someone's been watching us. Playing a sick game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. More footsteps, baby. I think he came from the lake, but his tracks make no sense. So the killer is watching us, game on. We found a page in the woods, a story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. The awful truth. You must dig it out. Something was put inside him. In his chest. I must find out what. So she just read this so we don't have to. Right? Get the case board again. Found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. Casey, I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. So we're just going back. I thought we were going to the lake, but I guess not anymore. Whoever wrote that page made sure it read like a story. Like a scene from a thriller. I hate all of it. The text said we'd find more. I believe it. But what's the purpose? They're twisting events to create their own narrative to do what? Entertain some fantasy? 
projecting their desires? Are we characters or the audience? Witnesses to their design? All the above? It's hey, all about control. You made it back. Good. Deciding what happens to who. Don't let it drag you in. Too late. I'm already hooked. I need the next chapter. I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. Deputy, I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well, sure, but the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Dear Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Thank you. Thanks. Let's get the car. Drive to Bright Falls and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. At the diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. Seems like a nice town so far. Murders aside, pretty woods. Cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. Now you're just being mean, Anderson. Deputies aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. I was just a little... I the clues all together yet. Heart removed. Tripod. Tracks leading to a dead end. A tripod? <gasps> for a camera? To record a snuff film? Maybe. And why take out his heart just to throw it away? To stuff in something for us to find. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. What are we gonna check out, dude? <clears throat> Here we are. Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. Go to Bright Falls, baby. You know, we are FBI, it's time for us to get donuts. Manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. Absolutely insane graphics, bro. Just gotta say this. The diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. Hello. Hey, girl. How you doing? Just how much coffee have you had? Hey, today? how's it going? <laughs> don't know, don't care. <laughs> how much have you had? Not enough. That's how much. Man, it is sweaty in these suits, isn't it, Charlene? You can come I can't open diet. this with my bare you hands. Think the amount of hot caffeinated beverages you've downed has anything to do with it? I don't know what you're talking about. Ugh, I'm in hell, Swamp Ass City. Ugh. Change the topic, please. Not to toot my own horn, but I am pretty darn sure my. 
I mean our float, oh, will be dear. the belle of the ball at this year's Deer Fest. Cute. Just a few more days. Cute. It's a nice looking float for sure. This is my first Deer Fest, so I don't know what to expect. One of us like close to Christmas. Good afternoon! Why is this city so like... Let me guess. The FBI. Welcome to Bright Falls. It's nice to have you here. I got you both some coffee. Oh, it's Washington's finest. These people seem so happy in this town, dude. And this guy sounds so familiar. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Brinker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. We've looked through the case files you sent over, Sheriff. Have you had many people besides... Wait, is this the same town? Sure. Of Anawake 1? But it's slowed down since Calvin Light was fast off. Yes. Excuse me. Missy. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Oh, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So, are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? So what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. Hmm. What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough. Me. They were shouting, cult of the tree, the cult of the tree, cult of the tree. Oh, oh. and then we found out. The whole thing was terrifying. That's all. What were you doing at Colgen Lake last night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was down at the lake, getting some details. Perfectly legal. Yeah, Alan Wake went missing here. Okay, so now we know plus minus the city we're in as well. Clues one background case. Uh, the bookers uh, described multiple attackers wearing deer masks, chanting, and tearing into the guy with knives. We're dealing with an organized group of killers, not a lone serial killer. The Cult of the Tree. Background cases. I need to know more about the Cult of the Tree if I'm going to shut them down. Background cases accumulate clues on the board ongoing topics. What's this word? So bright, dude. What kind of cult? Who's involved? We're wearing deer masks. Oh, 
child psycholo psychologically. If they're hiding their faces, they aren't established enough to operate openly. Main case, interview witnesses at the diner. So we're still busy with that. The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with a the murder. They were telling the truth. The cult of the tree. What are the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree bag, Tammy. Finder's keeper is Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. We'll have to take that. Thank you very much. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. Okay. Okay. Told you not to keep that thing, Timmy. It's mine now. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. <laughs> Like we'd even dream of missing dear Oh God, Saga, Saga Anderson, as I live and breathe. I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. How are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose, you know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter. That's so weird, you don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so. That was weird. Why is the diners in this place so weird? Every time. Wait, last time it wasn't a diner. Was it? Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was also strange. Because we have this necklace. Still not there. I was about to say it's not a cult goal, so I don't know where they want me to put this. Go to the sheriff's station, examine the nightboard's body. All set. My guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. Fuck. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not gonna find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? I played some D&D back in the day. Wizard was always my favorite class. Morning, Sheriff! Looks like you have some guests. Ah, morning, Ted. 
Yeah, real important guests. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. Always has been. Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. But it's best not to take it personally. Why do we park so far away from the police station? Hey, boss. Corpse is downstairs, ready to go. Yep, in the morgue, all prep. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. Oh, this is the Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Anything you need, just uh, let us know. We appreciate the support, Sheriff. So we share a morgue with the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns and he's away this week, but you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations, yes. Something about morgues, they always cheer me up. I can't say I feel the same. He's joking. Hey, girl. Can I move to this town, dude? All these women here are tied like a tiger. Including Rose. Okay. Let's take a look at our patient. And someone just cover up his free willy. Inspection before performing the internal examination. It's okay, we'll just, we'll just look at this angle, then we have Bush. What was the cause of death? What other clues can the body give me? Uh-huh. They did leave something inside his chest. There's writing on here. Can't make it out. Writing? How'd they manage that? Defensive wounds. They put up a fight. This looks like text. A tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. Neither would I, but I have one. The body shows signs of being submerged in water, post-mortem. It doesn't add up. So you can do something here. Time to see what Nightingale's body can tell us. Anything learned from the body? Well, I mean, everything here. Bloated feet, right? Nope. Cause of death. Uh, it's the wound. <sighs> Chest wound is cause of death. But the corpse is bloated. Waterlogged. Doesn't add up. Ah, uh, ritual. There's definitely something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? That isn't the body of the heart. How do the killers have time? Doesn't make sense. And it's eligible words. Same type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was, killing. 
Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. Try to stay in the line to avoid being detected by enemies. Safe havens will restore some of your health. If you leave or attack from a safe haven, wait until combat, it will become temporary unable. Gotta get it back. Unavailable. Gotta move. Now. Where's my gun? chapter bro this this feels like risen evil like full remake bro this is insane
Thank you for that copyright song, I guess. <laughs> he didn't have a heart, but he still got up. The page predicted all of it. It helped me fight him. Oh, oh, oh. He, he just disappeared? What the hell is going on here? We need to figure that out if we're going to do anything about it. Somehow, we need to make sense of this. Guys, I, I think this is a great spot to end today's video, man. Oh my goodness. Uh, this game, at the end there, felt absolutely insane. Huge fan of this so far. Looking forward to actually playing this whole game, man. Uh, the investigation thing is a little bit uh, tricky to do. Uh, I'm not a big fan of, like, investigative games, to be honest. But at the end of the day, I'm very, very excited for this. I think this could be one of the best games they released this year or so. I know that Alan Wake 1 was one of the games, I think I only gave four games so far a 10 out of 10 uh, on this channel. And Alan Wake 1 was one of them. And that was the first time ever playing that game. It was phenomenal. And I can't thank Kane Umbrella enough for actually sponsoring that game. I don't know if he's, if he's going to sponsor this game as well. Uh, we will see soon. Uh, but yeah, at the end of the day, I'm going to cover this regardless. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day supporting the channel. If you want to support it a tiny tad more, please make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you are new. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in the very next video. Love you, take care, and as always, remember to twist some nips. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, have a great time.